because if you've got to do that f- all the time, that gives me the fear. You know, it's like I can't. And I, I think you're sort of trapped into a way of working. Like I'm never coming up with that without this. This episode is being supported by Tape It. If you currently use voice notes to record your ideas, you should try Tape It instead. It's mad, like songwriting. Like I, I'm obsessed with it. Like it's the one thing, you know. Like I, I, you're so lucky that you find the thing you, that's everything to you. Like, you know, I was eleven, maybe twelve, when I got like a sampler. My first musical instrument was a, like a sampler. Like, so, and it only could only get six seconds. But can you remember what it was? But- it it kind of was a bit of DJ equipment that you could loop off a off a deck but then you could record from so you could make a couple i can't remember it was i want to say tascam but i don't think it was but it was one of those sort of plastic horrible things you know and then then i got a, an atari and then i was like into i had octomed and fruity loops and essentially it's for people that aren't musicians but that but but love making stuff so you know you would got loops and you they were sort of preloaded. Octomed was amazing. I'm, I've, I've seen people use it now. You can get that old rave sound. It's, it's amazing. You play off the keys, off the F keys. So, so even though I didn't really know back then that that would become my life, like I, it, it was, I, I was just obsessed with it, of production and make and making. The fact that in the morning something didn't exist, and then by the evening something was there, like that to me was like. That was the moment. I was like, I need to dedicate my life to that. Whether it was music or art or film, I just knew that was that was waiting for me, you know. But but songwriting is just like I, I'm so like I'm just obsessed every morning. It's just this could be the day, you know. Right. This could be the day. And I, I went through a period of like maybe sort of, you know, like maybe an album sort of six five or six around there and you sometimes you'd get a bit like weighed down by the weight of can you do it again if you got any more ideas and talking about Liam Howlett like being the, the studio was like a bit of a like oh I don't want to open the door like I don't I don't mm. want to go in there you know what I mean but so I've come through the other side and now I'm just like a scholar like I'm now I'm like I need to learn and I need to learn off everyone like I, I I'm I, like I'm as interested as how pops made as how you know those early psychedelic records made electronic like I'm in to the whole thing you know yeah yeah it's interesting I mean you earlier on you were mentioning how you know the first thing you had was a sampler and how you were just trying to work out how to create some beats for yourself so did you subsequently learn instruments to kind of work with that no side of things it's yeah. like you know i need more than just being able to create a few samples and and do a few loops exactly you know, I, I need some instruments on this so that's that was your inspiration to pick up the guitar exactly just how like it was to do with how making songs like you know and and figuring out like what you know more, more ways into into making them you know what i mean mm. so like i was like it was all about it wasn't like a, like a sort of in search for like virtuoso Hendrix. So some guitar players are just there and they just want to learn every sort of thing. And I was like, once I'd established, once I'd got the chords, I'm kind of cool with that. Like, that's enough, you know what I mean? And then I, I can just, then, you know, you learn a few more, then you expand. But essentially it was to just have, to finish more, you know, to make more songs really. Yeah. I mean, if you notice all the guitars, most of them ain't got the full set of strings on. That I, but again, I like to work against. I feel more inspired by you know a guitar with three strings, and I, 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 you know, I like the battle against it. I can't. I don't like things that, you know, it, in tune. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know what I mean. I like. I like the. The pro, like I like the restrictions. You know what I mean? I've always I've always been the same. Do you know? I like yeah. so. So it's almost like you work with what's there. Yes. And if you've kind of by accident a few months beforehand lost a couple of strings, then ah, oh, you know, yeah. Right now, I'm going to make this work exactly and work with whatever mm. tune it's in. 
kind of work with that a bit as well, which is always gets on stock later down the line. But there's something that happens in between the, you know, the frequencies when it's not quite right. That's just this more powerful somehow. Yeah, but it's crap when you're trying to record other things that are in tune. You're like, what oh, God? <laughs> um, but then, I mean, I'm sure you've had it a million times, but the phone really is like key. It's not necessarily the phone. It's the, it's the it's the voice memo. Voice memo is like everything because I because it, it, I'm a, most of these riffs they just start as voice memos. They start as, you know really me just singing into the and capturing lyrics, screen recording, you know tunes being out like just library you know like i'm just uh, that that thing is never not i'm not i'm always ready and i'm so grateful for it because it just means that anywhere you can capture that idea because you you can't go i remember that and i'll come back to it it disappears you have to get it while it's there so if we're talking about burning buildings then i'm I'm getting that because that's got that's got all, like there's a folder for the next record already in that space you know what i'm saying yeah. so i'm keep getting that if you, like so many of our guests, use voice notes to capture your ideas, you will love Tape It. It's the iPhone recording app designed specifically for musicians and songwriters. With Tape It, you can record straight from your lock screen, set markers, add notes, and even include photos of settings. Plus, there's Cloud Sync, you can import your old voice notes, and to stay on top of it all, Tape It has great labeling features like automatic instrument detection. And all of the above is free. If you currently use voice notes, switching to Tape It is a no-brainer. And there's more. If you upgrade to Tape It Pro, it uses two microphones on your iPhone along with gentler dynamic compression to give a much more natural sound than any of the usual apps. And we have a huge offer for you. 50% off Tape It Pro if you upgrade now. Just go to the app and use the promo code Tape Notes or click the link in the description below. That's interesting because it links into Nicola T's question, which are, what are the key things that make a killer riff? Oh man, um, I suppose it's the groove. It's the pocket, isn't it? It's the groove, because um, the notes have been used a million times, and it's hard to find a new riff out there. But the, I think the pocket. I what I, I think is key. What I really what's helped me is to set the tempo first. So, you know, think of all your favorite riffs. If you've got a particular one, get the tempo of that track and then find yourself like a nice loop. Someone, you know, like find a nice drum loop in that tempo and then sit on it and spend like 10 minutes and then leave. Don't make, don't spend any longer than that because it's just not happening. Yeah. But if you find the right tempo and then you've got an, an exciting like drum loop that you feel that's talking to you, you find, you know, and it just... I've found the ones that I've written that they just the, the sort of drums sort of the loop sort of says something and you just follow it a bit yeah but I think the tempo is the key because you you know if you can set if you hear something that you love and you go right I like it's in a 105 106 well right, I'm down with that I can make a riff on that so you, yeah. you can listen to that and keep making passes at it as it yeah, were yeah ex exactly like I can you know, once, once, obviously, you know, obviously, there's a lot of production going on this, and you know, you've got for that verse, you've got a big 808 and minimal drums, and but I always have to take it down to the piano or the guitar just to make sure the song stands up on its own, just to make sure the melody's strong enough and the lyrics strong enough, because you know, all these tunes, you can just reduce them down to that. And if they still work and if they still got got them got the magic, then you know you know you're in a good place. Yeah. So I, so my phone's got pretty much all of them down to you know that that just a guitar and a and a vocal. Yeah. Because it's I mean that's kind of how you sort of craft the actual tune. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like there's the time goes into the production and getting things right, but you know also or, or the, a lot of the time is dedicated to just a pen and a pad and a great melody and making sure that you know it's 
again back to that eight by every something happens melodically lifts and you know yeah i love that i love the idea that you've got this surgery which we're in now mm. but then occasionally you go to a different place your kitchen with yeah. your acoustic guitar yeah you know it's a it's a different atmosphere different vibe i suppose that you can tap into and kind of maybe feel more relaxed in a different kind of way where you just put the phone on the table and just strum yeah, the guitar totally and see what happens totally and it's sort of you know like when i first sort of got a guitar you know that's how, how you would sort of traditionally write a song but that, you know because if you've got to do that all the time that gives me the fear you know it's like i can't and i think you're sort of trapped into a way of working like i'm never coming up with that without this oh yeah. sorry just hit the mic so i think that's really like so th that sort of gets me to in the kitchen with the guitar but at least i'm kind of in my head i can hear where that's it's not just going to be this sort of bluesy thing it's going to sound like you know like this <laughs> <laughs> 